It started at 4 this morning when villagers blocked the main highway leading into the village. PMVs and cars traveling in from villages towards the LNG plant site were turned off and forced to use the Gerawu back road through the Barony dump. Stones, scraped metals, empty drums and trees were laid across the road. The villagers came in numbers and demand for water supply to be restored before they clear this part of the highway. A community leader and reviver said water supply was cut off five months ago and women and girls had become the victims of harassment as they have to travel long distances to fetch and carry water. For the last five months, all community and the village mothers, all go to water or at least still, they went as far as get away. Now, Lord, let's say, me will go as far as I know, but Koki, Konedobu, Borgo, all are in water. Lord, this is a situation for me for the last five months. Close to three black girls from me were raped at Baroni Dam. Baroni Primary School head teacher Nime Katumo said they have had half day classes since then. At around 9 a.m., their local MP Michael Malabag arrived, followed by Adarano CEO Henry Mokono. Mr. Mokono said the water bill has reached 90,000 kina, resulting in them cutting off the supply. But the villagers disagree with the figure. Mr. Malabag then allocated 50,000 kina from the DSIP funds towards the bill. He will negotiate with NCD Governor Powes Pakop to complete the payment. At 10 a.m., the Edaranu CEO gave the green light and taps were running again. The satisfied villagers then cleared the road. Quintana Lomp, National MTV News.